I'm about to show you how to set up a Camp Master Chobi Dome canvas tent. We have just arrived at Tozen Kral. I don't know how to say it, but it's beautiful. All our stuff is on the back seat and in the boot. <laughs> we are right on the beach. We can go hiking along that way. And Grotto Bay is just up that way. And this is our prime real estate for the evening. Come take a look in the car. If you're in South Africa and you have a polo, you can still go camping. Take a look at this. We packed everything here, we folded the seats down and we've got all sorts of things and we should be good for at least a month. But we're only camping for a night. Just in case Melissa needs to catch a flight. <laughs> it's small, come on, look how small that is. Just because it has wheels. H2O, the vital papers. This is it. This is your direct chair, my queen. Thank you. I'll take a seat. Even has a little... Side table. Yo, look at that sun. This, this chair. It's called the Grand Mega Chair. But I'll show you this later after I take everything out. We've got a steel cupboard shelf. Take a look inside here. Got some Coronas there for the boys and some nice wine. This is the Rolls Royce of tents. The Camp Master Chobi Dome canvas tent. About 26 kilograms. Keeps me nice and strong. It's what I've been training for my whole life. <laughs> Oh, I'm on a mission to become a camp master. This is my first time being the official camp master because this is her first time camping. Mm -hmm. I've gone camping before, but the tents have always been set up or we've gone in a cabin. This is the first time I have to set up a tent and do everything. And I'm a novice. Well, I just sit back on the chair and watch. No, I'm joking. She's the director. I'm gonna help. Look how fancy she looks out in it's the camping not, area. Just... It was cold about uh, when we arrived because this was all covered in Yeah, it was in actually cloud. cloudy. And we now, the gods have answered our prayers and kind of pushed all that away so we might have a banging sunset. I hope so. Got a blow up mattress, we got a pump, we got a spare tent just in case Melissa kicks me out. <laughs> Director? Yes. Are we gonna set the tent out looking that way when we wake up? Mm -hmm. Or are we gonna set it up over here? Oh, well, definitely that way. We wanna see the ocean, right? I'm about to show you how to set up a Camp Master Chobi Dome canvas tent got this from Macro. I practiced last night in, the, in our back garden. So let's see if I can do it today. The first step is you take it out of the bag. So you unfold it. These are the pegs, very important. You really want to place it properly, but you can move it if there's two people. You unfold it once. So guys out there, if you want to become a camp master like me, and if you're also new to camping like me, it is possible. While I'm doing this, I'm going to have to uh, get a beverage. No. That's perfect. Cheers. Don't drink Corona without a lime. I left the lime at home. Oh, that's cold. The outlay takes about a minute or so. Keep these if you can. These are all connected via rope. It's proper steel rods. If you look closely, you've got this little cross over here and they've done it so nicely for you where they, they put rope on it so that you know that this belongs to this. The next step is to kind of put the puzzle together then stick it in. Once you put the puzzle pieces together, you are good to go. Now what you're gonna do is put this in the hole over here. So this is a very important part. Camp Masters, I don't know if I put this through a double hole like this. I'm not sure if that's the right way, but this is what I'm doing now. If I'm doing it wrong, you can tell me. I will gladly take your criticism. Now you do the same on this side. Now you somehow bend it and you stick it in the hole. All right, here we go. Why did you do this by yourself last night? But it is possible to do this by yourself once you are a camp master. Here you can see we have a full frame. We've got the structure, which is solid. This Chobi canvas tent is made to last strong winds, rain, it's cold weather as well. This is the next step. You're probably wondering, how do you raise this thing up? And I wondered that too. This is how I did it last night. You just open it up. You open this tent up a little bit. So now what you gotta do is hook the first thing up over here. I'd suggest you get all four corners up. We've got a little base over there, just like that. 
Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna make it for sunset. We gotta set this up before sunset. I think we're doing good for time. <laughs> what I recommend for you to clip it in, it it will hurt the skin on your hand. Is maybe use a piece of leather or belt. To get in there. So use a leather belt or something so you don't hurt your sensitive hands if you're camping for the first time. <laughs> yep, that belt definitely helps. Oh, while Richard does that, I'm going to show the sunset because it is so beautiful. Okay, let's go see what Richie's doing. This reminds me of this tent that we were camping when we go glamping on safari here. Yeah? This, this when, is when basically When you go to those yeah. luxury safari lodges, they put you in one of these guys. My pants are falling off. <laughs> Yo, look at that sunset. And voila! If you're a camping noob like me and you want to become a camp master, you can do it. Sun is going down very quickly, but the tent is up. This is living. We got a queen air bed <laughs> for the queen. And then you have these little clips over here. Come take a look inside. The sun is set, but we still got a little bit of light. And I'm going to leave this here by you. Are you going to pump it up? Yeah. Okay, let me get the bed for you. <gasps> Who put that there? <laughs> I got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look how hard she's laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because you didn't just like fall, you went like, like face first. And <laughs> you get up like nothing happened. New tip on becoming a camp master watch <laughs> your step. <sighs> oh, you went flying. Mm. You get the pump. Carry on. This is a great playlist from the log cabin. Well done to Corbus for putting this together. Okay, so we've got a couple of windows here just to get that extra bit of light. I can't believe we're the only ones here. We can make as much noise as we want. Are you no, not really. <laughs> Work out. <laughs> Bump it! You want to start a fire? Obviously, you need some dry wood, some fire lighter, and some some dry twigs, just to just to get the fire smoking a little bit, you know. And this is our setup. <laughs> we have this little shelf with all our all the essentials. <laughs> Here's our fruit salad because we're also trying to be healthy. <laughs> That's our breakfast. And um, we have some bread. Good bright and beautiful morning. Sun is rising. And this tent made it through the night. This right here is the Camp Bistro 2. Put this gas canister in the hole. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I figured it out. I think it's I think that's it. Sue's your auntie. Sue's your auntie. Sue is my auntie. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, that was so easy. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. This here is a mocha pot, what I make coffee with every single morning. The coffee comes out really good. It's the closest thing to a proper barista coffee that you can make at home, fairly <laughs> cheaply. Chop it up with water until it touches the line. There's a line there. This is the coffee holder. And your choice of ground coffee. Today I'm drinking Turbidol. Give it a whiff. It smells good. Since there's two of us that are going to have coffee, I take Two spoons. Ah. <laughs> nice one. I usually do that every morning. <laughs> no wonder I'm always cleaning up your coffee <laughs> off the stove. <laughs> I'm like, how does this happen? It's as I time? wake up, so I don't really realize <laughs> I'm doing it. And you gotta press it down because that's what the baristas do. I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do. It's gonna be strong coffee. Lock it in place. Oh. Now you pop the coffee right on there. Give it a couple minutes and it should be good to go. Oh, that's the one. Look at that. I'll tell you how you make coffee in the wild. It's nice and hot. Coffee. 
kids. I'm about to attempt to do a Sam Calder. I'm gonna sit over here and then fly the drone through here. 